Hello and welcome to the Listening Posts unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing the pinnacle of Paradigm's bookshelf speakers, their Persona B, two-way bookshelf speaker. Now, before I get into it, note that these are big, mammoth bookshelf speakers and they're individually boxed. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of one of them because they will be the same. Now these are really heavy, so, you know, we're going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. Now firstly, Paradigm's Persona range is now iconic. The engineers at Paradigm uh, have put their 30 to 40 years experience into these speakers. Every design element is perfected, from bracing within the box, uh, tweeter design, disbursement of the tweeter and mid-range drivers, all of these types of things are second to none. The quality of the components that they're choosing in the crossover networks, the binding posts, even the paint finish is utterly perfect. So it's wonderful that I get the opportunity to share these with you today. So, big speaker, big box. Relatively muted in all of its design elements, it's a simple enough freight carton. The only thing that sort of alludes to what's inside is a simple scan barcode that says, hey, it's going to be, and in this instance, a gorgeous new finish, which is their carbon black. There's a serial number, all of that emulated in a scannable code. A little bit of information about uh, the recyclability of the packaging, a duplication of that model information and scan code, and there we go. Look, these are proudly made in Canada. In fact, they're handmade. Every element of this is, is handmade. It's beautiful as far as that goes. Okay. Now, opening them is relatively straightforward. The packaging itself is a combination of sort of that um, uh, fabric tape. So that's that sort of paper, fabric-y tape that you see on large items nowadays. So opening them is, although straightforward, I mean, it's a little bit more complicated than if it was just clear packing tape. The first thing is to sort of let that, let that paper tape um, uh, release and then open things. Now, because it's staple, okay, a reminder to everyone, the first thing you do with any piece of hi-fi that's been stapled close is get that staple and get rid of it. There is nothing worse than either A, injuring yourself on it because it's sharp, or scratching that beautiful finish on those speakers um, with this metal uh, staple. So again, just get rid of it. Okay. Now this is where we see a departure from a lot of the packaging that we see in modern products nowadays. They've utilised folded cardboard. Now it wouldn't be surprised if the cardboard itself is recycled, but the cardboard can of course be 100% recycled at the end of its life. There are layers upon layers of this folded cardboard to protect the product from transit. And removing the top layer we see an inner box. So, like anything that's heavy, my recommendation is, as always, lift the lightweight box off the speaker. Not, don't try and take the heavy speaker out of the box. Now, we see the folded cardboard is utilised to support all corners. Another layer at the bottom, and finally the other corners. And we see an inner carton. Now putting it up the right way, there's a little bit more as far as an, uh, 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 a reference to what's inside this box. We see a Paradigm logo, we see the Persona and the B for its model number, and proudly handcrafted in Canada. We see uh, an emulation of some of the diffusement that is utilised and has become an iconic protection and an, a signature of the Persona range, which you will see. And please, as always, hang around for some close-up photographs and we'll get a really good look at these beautiful speakers. On this inner carton, we see the model and serial number information again emulated on a scannable code. And that's just on one of the sides. 
Again, the box is sealed with the uh, sort of paper tape. So a simple enough cut with a craft knife, a little bit of a knock, and then again, there's no elegant way of opening a cardboard box that has staples. You just tear it open. Again, a reminder, as soon as you see anything that's stapled, grab them, get rid of them. Now, at this point, we see the protection required to ensure that a speaker of this quality and cost is delivered to you with, uh, you know, in, in absolutely perfect condition. They've utilised a big oversized plastic bag and then closed cell phone. Rolling it over, lifting the box. We see that oversized bag. It's taped closed with traditional packing tape and a couple of simple nicks and we're in. Now within the bag we see a couple of things. Firstly, two moulded pieces protecting the speaker and that sort of poly paper. Uh, the protection is clearly designed specifically for this model and size and shape and has done a wonderful job to protect it in transit. Now, out of luck or coincidence, we're actually looking at the bottom of the speaker, and so it's very straightforward from an unboxing perspective to then rotate this around and allow the rest of the packaging to be removed. We'll pause though and just have a quick look, and again, always hang around for the photographs. You will see a steel uh, plate with uh, mounting points for an elaborate array of stands that are available specifically for this Persona range. Uh, there's big heavy hex bolts bolting this into the uh, base of the speaker as well. Carefully rolling it over onto that steel plate. We can then take the rest of the plastic bag off and get rid of it. In here we see a set of um, cotton gloves. Now these particular gloves also have little uh, rubber dots on them to ensure that uh, the cotton gloves protect the speaker from fingerprints and things along those lines but the rubber dots means that you won't slip and potentially drop and damage the speaker. And there's a pair in each of the speakers. The other closed cell phone. Now this is cut away a little bit differently because of the sloped angle associated with the top of the speaker and again You'll see that in a moment, but hang around for some photographs. Now, before we reveal this beautiful speaker, I want to just pause and have a look at some of the accessories that it comes with. What we see is a cardboard box that's folded, and clearly says, you know, Persona user manual. It's very straightforward to open. And in here we have a series of small accessories and other things for you. The first is a bit of a warranty card, um, and it simply gives you a website to register and other things if you need to. We see uh, Paradigm logoed rubber bump ons, so these have a predetermined location in the steel base, allowing this to sit on a wood surface or a side table or something like that should you not be utilising stands. Uh, there are four of them, and they've got a 3M sort of double sided sticker on it as well. Then we see a, a microfiber polish cloth, again uh, with the Paradigm logo on board, and it's lovely to see a little touch of and attention to detail there. Then drilling down we see um, some of the little things that Paradigm have done. They're very proud of their reference range, I mean this is the very best that they do. And so they have one of those sort of certificates of ownership, one of those little wee things associated with, hey, a bit of a thank you and a bit of history associated with the speaker and the company themselves. Then we see the Persona user manual. Now it's actually bilingual, you see the way that they've printed it in both French and English. And inside that, not only is every element of how to get the most of the speakers, the positioning, all of those types, it talks about the entire Persona range. But it also, um, there's the Persona range and all the unboxing, 
but it also has a unique little thing. And again, it highlights just how proud Paradigm is. Enclosed inside the manual is a signed uh, card from the people involved in the design and manufacturing of this. We see some of the, the big names of Paradigm. Now this is a signed piece of paper. You understand? This isn't some sort of reprint. They've sat there and signed it on behalf of the people that have opted to invest in the Persona range. Right. Now it's time to unveil this beautiful speaker. The black cloth bag that we see has um, a Paradigm logo on the front. And the bag itself serves two purposes, to protect the speaker and freight, which is what the black side is. But inside, as we take this off, um, there is a white polish cloth bag on the inside to ensure that the paint finish uh, is preserved brilliantly. As we unveil it, we see another layer of protection uh, tilting it forward, which is a simple enough clear film sticky on the top to ensure that the uh, you know the, the top is going to be well preserved and looked after again so that it comes to your home in absolutely perfect condition. Okay, so looking at the speaker again, there's the uh, now iconic uh, perforated phase alignment lens. Now that's a series of big words, but essentially any dome, any manufactured drive unit has potential resonant issues or potential noding and um, uh, cancellation issues that can be basically, in fact, essentially eliminated if the covering elements help to work with those and, elim and eliminate any of the phasing. Now not only do these uh, help to ensure that the drive units have none of the resonant issues that uh, could potentially occur, but it also helps to widen the disbursement and control the disbursement of the higher and mid-range frequencies into the room. The design features a 1-inch beryllium dome tweeter and then a 7-inch mid-bass driver. The speakers themselves are relatively efficient at uh, about 90-92 dB. But astonishingly, this little bookshelf speaker, well, not that little, but relatively little in the grand scheme of their range, uh, this beautiful little speaker can get right down to 45 Hz. Now these are frequencies that you would expect from some of the larger floor standing speakers. And here's Paralime delivering that in a compact bookshelf speaker. The power handling of this is also very wide and again highlights the build quality and investment in all of the key elements that go into building a speaker. It'll handle a 15 to 250 watt uh, load, so it's amazing to see all of this. If I tilt it forward for a moment, again this curved cabinet and the fact that they are using um, uh, a wood laminate process to ensure that the cabinet has zero resonance. Have a look here, and again, hang around for the photos. We can see that this front area is also slightly curved. That helps to manage the reflection of uh, the waves off the cabinet itself to allow, uh, allow for delay, and, and, and all sorts of um, issues can be resolved by having that ever so slight curve. It gives a beautiful, brutish look to it, of course, as well, as we see the contrast of the gloss and then the uh, satin black finishes. You see the use of other design elements to ensure that the elegance is uh, obvious and the quality of these products again very obvious. We see the Paradigm logo front and centre at the bottom of the speaker and rolling around we see a couple of other things too. The speaker is uh, following the design concepts of the larger floor standing speakers with the 9s and 7s but we also see this sort of stand and curve emulated to ensure that there's a lovely look and feel across the range. Rolling around, we see the rear port and the model on a, on a embossed badge and then a beautiful set of, of a wonderful quality binding posts. The speaker allows for by wiring or by amplification at ease and with that the bridging clips can be removed if required. Tilting it uh, forward for a moment, we see also the uh, serial number clearly shown. So, these beautiful speakers, the pinnacle of Paradigm's design. Two-way, two-driver, 
wonderful frequency response, amazing attention to detail, the quality is utterly perfect. The Paradigm Persona B bookshelf speakers, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.